So, very brief video on an African country. This is the second I will do for the Discord, which is not casually called uh, Discord Africa. It's a, bit, a Discord channel. Very nice indeed, where I can have free speech with the only side uh, points that I have to not promote genocide or actually be racist, which, uh, guys, I think it was obvious in all of my videos, I'm not I'm critical of everything, that's all. And uh, despite that we are a secular country, we sell weapons and uh, ships uh, gladly to Egypt. For those who don't know, first and foremost, uh, Egypt has a very poor reputation for human rights and deservedly so. They still haven't told us anything about uh, Regeni, the murder student journalist or whatever he was, leftist, but uh, hey, he was doing a good thing, so I can't criticize him. Well, I can't criticize the dead. I can, because that's uh, a right I have and I will use. because it was obvious that he was uh, killed in order to cover the tracks uh, of someone either in politics or the military or the police one of the three which, which reason we don't know and uh, also the question of Saragazi that uh, everybody is talking about it now in the English uh, speaking world in uh, Reddit or in the subreddit of Air Arabs and uh, Air Italy. Italy especially and Air Arabs for because she was an Arabic citizen. The reason why she was tortured and uh, cap captured by the Egyptian military or police, I don't think they actually brought charges to her that were significant, but she immediately fled to Canada as soon as she was a political prisoner. But uh, she killed herself because uh, what they did to her, they broke her soul. They made a hole, as the girl said in her suicide note. Unfortunately, we can't stop selling weapons to the Egyptian because uh, I don't know if the, these uh, industries are delocalized in another country, where the a country that is at that seven. But if they're not, uh, well. We can't stop, unfortunately, we can't stop the weapon. We have uh, what uh, little influence we have in the Mediterranean, we can't risk it right now, politically speaking. But considering we have an idiot for a uh, Minister of Foreign Affairs like Di Maio, I wouldn't be surprised if we lost all the influence in the Mediterranean. It's not like I want to sell weapons to Sisi. Well, I don't want to sell a weapon to a bloody parasite that has a fake aura of uh, democracy despite he hit out who was the legitimate president, which was uh, Morsi, which I don't agree with the Islamic Brotherhood. But strange thing enough, the Muslim Brotherhood agreed on the treatment of this poor girl. You know what this poor girl did? She flew a rainbow flag. If I was her friend, I would have punched, torn apart that flag just to save her. Unfortunately, there, there was no such friend, and it was too late. She was uh, kidnapped, basically. She was tortured, questioned about ridiculous stuff uh, like. If she was, she was indeed uh, a lesbian, the first letter of the LGBT alphabet, what impeded her, that's what I asked her, to go on on uh, children and animals? Bear in mind, uh, the LGBT group, 99% uh, of the time, they don't go after children. There are some pedos that are also homosexuals, but uh, there's differentiation. Not all. Lesbian gay people are people like Kevin Spacey. Kevin Spacey, though, is an actor, was a famous actor, thank God he might see prison, but uh, strangely, all of his uh, 
all those who call deposit a testimony against him are dead or dying or very scared. That's why I hate uh, how the behavior of LGBT people in Italy. They complain a lot. Uh, they complain a too, ma too bloody much. Uh, they think that uh, only Italy and Europe or North America or whatever people are homophobic and will go to such lengths. Which no, no, you bloody useless imbeciles. There are countries that are far worse than Brazil, United States, Canada, e most of Western Europe combined. You get killed in some countries, you get tortured, and nobody says a word. So stop whining and actually protest for something useful. You know, I bloody hate when you guys do that. When you call everything homophobic, when you call everything transphobic, when you call everything phobic something. Yet, leftists in Europe and especially in Italy defend immigration from countries like this. It's not like I have something against Muslims or Egyptians. I don't have anything against them. In fact, sometimes I I rather live with them and being with them than with many other type of people because they are sincere most of the time and they don't hide the fact that they attest some things. They don't have, uh, how we say, hair on the tongue in Italy. So asking for an open immigration policy and gay rights or LGBT rights is like putting gasoline on a fire. But apparently you guys don't get it. They are worse place than Italy. But apparently you don't care, you just like to whine. Like Andy Dangaso. <laughs> hey Andy, did you block me on Instagram because I was telling the truth, by the way? Because Andy Dangaso, you know, that the useless parasite that calls everything transphobic, patriarchal, and everything, the ones who said that uh, who comes from a homophobic, racist, and patriarchal country as the courage to complain about Italy. How about you go plow yourself, Andy? How about that? That's all for the moment. See you guys next time.